Only about 50% of the guys who start actually make it out. Before I turned up, I was probably a bit cocky. You get there and you realise you're not as big as you thought you were. With the Marines, it's more of a state of mind. If you're strong mentally, you're halfway there. If you're in Dartmoor on like a February evening, cold and wet, and you know you've got another four nights to go, some people can handle that, other people can't. Receiving your Green Beret with all your family there watching, it really gives you a real sense of self-belief. Whatever happens, no one can take that away from you. Leaving the Marines, I was lost. I'd gone from having a job that I was proud of to dead-end jobs. I was drinking a lot, I was going out and partying, and that struck a chord with me, and I was like, come on, this is not you. And that's when I decided to make a move. I moved to London, retrained as a personal trainer. Walked into a Thai boxing gym. I think a year later, I had my first professional fight. I won some and I lost some. The losing is hard to deal with. I didn't go on to be a champion, but I got in there and I gave a good account of myself. I felt something go. My collarbone was just poking straight up. I had to have an operation, so Thai boxing was out of the question. I started running and definitely something in me changed. I was introduced to the world of ultra running, which is basically anything over a marathon. When I'm running, I feel free being outside in nature, doing something that's a real test of your character and your physical abilities. It's just such a sense of freedom. I might not be the biggest, I might not be the strongest, but I'll give it my best shot. I will try, try my damn hardest. And if I've done that, then I can look myself in the mirror and I can be proud of myself.